Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, I spent a few days camping Master Farmers for Ranars, and oh boy did we get a lot. We are up to over 2,000 Ranars, which we now need to make into prayer pots because we just got 91 Slayer, and that's the reason why we went to Master Farmers, so we could get prayer pots for Cerberus, because Cerberus uses a lot of prayer pots. Sorry, I know I got kind of fast there. I had to get it all out of my head before I forgot it. Anyways, I want to get back into Slayer and go for a Serb task, and keep going for 90 three slayer for thormy and the occult necklace but before we do that i think it'd be best to get prayer up we should have a decent amount of insult heads and a pretty good amount of bones as well and we gotta do some herb lore too we have to make all these ranars into prayer pots i guess the order that we do it in doesn't matter we'll do herb lore first and time pause the timer pause the timer pause the timer there we go all the ranars have been cleaned there's 2k clean ranars can you imagine spending 200 gp per herb to not get herb or xp like imagine if i had just spent 400k gp to clean those ranars i swear there's so many people out there getting scammed by that guy in narda you know what's an even bigger scam though is the degrime spell because it costs two nature runes for inventory and you only get half the xp and it's an eight tick action because everyone knows that manually cleaning an inventory of herbs is only a four tick action, duh. What definitely isn't a scam though is spending 200 GP to get these made into unfinished potions using Zahur over here because we have the Desert Hard Diary done. So there's 400k GP spent. Now let's go make all these into prayer pots. And we have got 67 herb lore, 68 herb lore. Nice. This is the last inventory of the prayer pots. And I kind of just now remembered about the existence of Amulets of Chemistry, so I did not end up using any of them for making these prayer pots. But thinking about this logically, the time it would take to get the resources I would need for the amount of Amulet of Chemistry I would need for 2,000 Ranar potions probably bounces out with the half hour of Thieving Master Farmers I would need to bounce out for getting that many Ranars. Anyways, I noticed that we're close to 70 Herblore, which is the last requirement that we're missing for Song of the Elves, so I could just uh, clean all these areas and make them into super attacks and that will get us to the level so let's go do that wow this is crazy what are the odds i have the exact amount of unfinished eric potions that i need to get level 70 hurry up herb lore on the group iron man last requirement for song of the elves is out of the way and i guess now we'll get into training prayer well, i'll be switching to the archaeus spellbook and then using the archaeus library teleport to get back here faster um, because you have to be on our case spell but to reanimate the insult head so let's get the prayer xp up here and begin the prayer training starting from level 71 oh just missed it there's 72 prayer 73 prayer and soul dragons do actually use dragon fire on you so it is very highly recommended to have some form of anti-dragon fire protection well that is the last of the insult heads we have none left and we end up gaining about 165k prayer xp from it uh, we do have these bones that I showed you before, but right now it's kind of peak time. Like there's most players on right now because it's the weekend. So we're going to put off using these bones. I don't even know if it like has that much XP anyways. It's like maybe one more level. Let's decant all the prayer pots into four doses. And we have over 1500. Plus we had some in the bank. Uh, from before so in total we have 1600 apparently we didn't have a task from before so we're gonna start off doing slayer now and see what we get i'm not gonna be skipping extra to try and get cerberus there's no rush really let's see what we get all right even if we did get a serb task right here i'd still have to train agility because we need 80 agility for the serb shortcut plus the more i get my melee stats up before doing serb the better i don't think i've ever done serb with like not having base 99s before so it might be a little bit different for me doing it with like 80 attack and defense i'm still going to be training on control though because i really want to get 99 strength i know it's not efficient but we're just so close i mean it's not exactly close but like it is close, okay? I just want to get 99 strength. Well, oh, again, just missed it. There's 82 defense. Ooh, demonics. I want to do Serp, though. That's a lot of demonics. Okay, well, anyways, uh, you know, before I was talking about Degrime, and that reminded me I haven't done the uh, Kingdom Divided quest. At the start of the account, I started the quest, but then I got stuck at one of the bosses because I only had like 40 range or something. So we're going to do this quest to unlock the full Archaeus Spellbook, not mainly because of Degrime, but mainly because Thralls are really, really helpful. This Vorkath attack thing where you just walk around to just avoid the attack until it ends. And yeah, this dude, this boss is so much easier than when I did it last time. I just, I physically could not do DPS with like 40 range. There's the end of the boss fight. And I just didn't have to use any food at all for the fight. A kingdom divided is done. So first thing we get is the Book of the Dead 
which is just an upgrade from the Crit's Memoirs. Crit's Memoirs only gave plus one prayer bonus, but this has magic accuracy and prayer. But what this book does is you have to have it equipped or in your inventory in order to cast the resurrection spells, which is Thralls. You get a 10k XP lamp, so that is 10k herbal XP. And I can now make the respawn point Karen Castle, and that sounds pretty cool, so I'm gonna do that. It seems like it'd be pretty close to a bank. I just want to be unique. If you actually want to know which one's the best for your situation, you could look up respawn point on the wiki and some nerd actually figured out the amount of tiles it is from the bank for each of the respawn points but at current castle is only 30 tiles with the two stairs in between but the main thing that we get from the quest is just unlocking pretty much the whole archaea spell like there's a few spells that aren't unlocked from the quest but the majority of them are unlocked from the quest the grass spells demon bane spells Corruption, Resurrection, which is Thralls, there's some other spells, the Offering spells, and then most of these in here. Some of these have some really interesting uses that probably have like really niche situations where you'd use them. Like this one's for thieving. I have no idea where you would even use Vile Vigor. Does anyone know like what kind of niche scenario this would actually be useful for? But now we are off to the Demonics. If you want to see what we have so far, we have two Zenites in 932 KC. And I do still have one of the Zenites in the bank. I'm just waiting for Spook to get two more craft levels so that way she can make that into an anguish. But yeah, we got a fat task ahead of us. 248 is going to take like eight or nine hours. So off we go. Taking a little break from Demonics to eat dinner and edit, doing some agility and there is 79 agility one more to go for serve oh blister spring apparently we have that these addy bar drops remind me that the blowpipe is almost out of darts i keep forgetting to make more so i'm gonna make more right now before i forget oh i was so confused for a second i forgot i don't have the level yet to make darts i have to like constantly boost with the dwarven stouts but i did buy a bunch of them from birth Orp a while back so i should have a bunch of dwarven stouts in the bank yep Unfortunately, no fletching level, but there's almost 3.5k more Eddie darts, and we are set. Yay! 87 range. There's the end of the demonic's task. Yes, that is a dragon stone in my inventory, and we uh, only got the Ballista Spring. Only unique, we got no Zenite. As much as I enjoy demonics, which I unironically actually do enjoy them, I am gonna unextend them because we're not really in a rush for a Zenite, and I'd rather just get like more tasks done faster for more Slayer points and just to have more variety for the video so we do not get the points back unextended. Ooh, Basilisks. Let's see, I've currently got a Basilisk Knight's KC of 148 and it's one out of 1k on task to get the jaw. I was trying to see if it's possible if I can like get out of the range where I can hit them but they can't hit me, but I don't think that's possible. This is too far. If I try long range, can I go back here? Will that work? No, they could still hit me back here too. Oh well, I was just trying to find a way to save the prayer pots, but I guess not. We melted these dark chocolate chips and we were uh, putting it on fruit, so we cut up some bananas and strawberries. We did the bananas first, and they've only been in the freezer for like 10 minutes or something, and it looks like they're already frozen, so that looks really good. And then there's the strawberries. We might have burnt the chocolate a little bit, but I think it's going to be fine. You know what's actually really good though is chocolate covered bacon. Like you freeze the bacon with the chocolate on it, like. Like the cooked bacon, you put the chocolate on it, then freeze it, it's actually really good. And so is this banana. I'm surprised how fast that chocolate hardened on it. And there we have it, four hours of Basilisk Nights done and no face guard. Or jaw, I mean. Up to 278 KC. When I do my AFK Slayer in the Catacombs, what I do instead of using prayer pots is just whenever I run out of prayer, I go back to the POH to restore it and then use the Kren portal to go straight back. But I think last time I was doing Slayer, I didn't have the fancy Rejuvenation Pool, which also restores your lowered stats, which means it's time to get a Dragon Battle Axe. I'm not sure if I have one in the bank already. I don't think so. I do not. So we're going to buy it for 200,000 GP. That's okay. I'm rich for now. And with the Dragon Battle Axe, we're going to use the special attack every time I come back to the POH. And you can see it raises your strength, but then it lowers your other combat stats. But because we have this pool now in the POH, uh, that's going to restore the lowered stats and then I can just use the super attack potion 
And this way I don't have to use super strength pots, which are a little bit more annoying to get uh, than super attacks. So essentially the dragon battle axe just works as a super strength pot. And this way we'll be able to save more of these for the super combat potions we'll eventually be making later on. And we are back to shamans. Every time I do a demonics task, which takes me like a full day to do, for the rest of the day, or even for a couple days, I end up counting all the hits that monsters do to me, because for demonics you gotta like constantly be counting to three. And that actually used to happen to me on the UIM as well. Like after I would do a Hydra task, I would just keep on counting to three for a day or two. It's like a Tetris effect, I guess, but for RuneScape. Last kill of the task and never lucky. Let's see what the KC is. You're up to 633 shamans. Normally during the demonics tasks, I don't alk the drops as I go. So I just remember that I'm alking them now and we ended up getting over 1.6 million GP from that demonics task earlier. We'll toss this with the rest of it and we're so close to the green cash stack. You know what? I'm gonna make it a goal. We will get the green cash stack before we end this video. And we have level 83 attack. Oh my god, 172 Basilisks, that's gonna take so long. They do drop some pretty good Alks, so there's a chance we could reach that 10 mil goal by the end of this task. We'll see though. Oh, what the heck? Myst Light Mystic Hat. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't have one of those. Is that the full set actually? Because you can only get those as drops from Basilisks. But apparently Wall Beasts drop them too. It's a very uh, random monster. Let's see... Oh, just missing the boots. And the boots apparently come from Cockatrice, so we'll have to go for that one day off task since Jordel does not assign them. Woot! There's a range level 88 range, 1875 total as well. And finally, the end of the night's task, no jaw. We're up to exactly 450 KC, and then I didn't bank any of the GP that I got during the task. And we got about 400k. Not quite enough to get us to 10 mil. Oh, okay, this will for sure be the last task that we're gonna do today. Oh, almost the max amount. Oh, I really want to build the Ancient Altar in the POH, but like, I really want to have a Pharaoh Scepter too for the clue step and for doing more Pyramid Plunder in the future, so. I don't know, we'll hold off for now, but I am very, very tempted to make that altar. Oh, this level's a big one. 94 magic. We could finally start using Ice Barrage instead of Ice Burst for all these Slayer tasks I've been doing. And I just checked the wiki, it said that Ice Burst has a max of 22, whereas Ice Barrage has a max of 30. So if you think about it, like if you're getting 220k XP per hour using Ice Burst, which I wasn't, but if you were getting 220k XP per hour, and then you switched over to Ice Barrage, wouldn't that mean that the XP per hour would go from 220k to 300k because of the max hit? Well then again, you'd have to spend more time like running around luring them, so maybe not, but I feel like that's kind of like a general idea of how much more XP you'd be getting though. I know some nerd in the comments is going to correct something I said. I know I'm wrong, okay? Frick off. What I'm noticing already though is that my XP drop seem to be like between 3 to 400 XP each, versus using Ice Burst, they were like two to 300 XP each. So it's a pretty sweet increase. And then besides just like getting more XP and getting these tasks done faster, which translates into more Slayer XP and more Prayer XP. Also, it's good for Zora. The higher the magic level, the better, or anywhere else I'm gonna be using magic or especially the Trident. And there we go. There is the end of the Necreals task. I've definitely noticed since I started using Ice Barrage that I'm getting these uh, stacks of Necreals down faster, which also I guess means that I go through less Prayer doing these bursting tasks or I gotta say barrage tasks now not bursting all right birdhouse run complete let's take a look at the cash stack before I alk these items we have 9.3 almost 9.4 mil so all those rune items and mystic stabs that we got from neck reels will not get us to the green 10 mil cash stack I think so. I do always try to leave two of all the rune items in my bank, at least for now, just in case we need them for like a clue step or a fashion escape thing or something. Ever since I got the suffering, I stopped bringing the explorer's ring with me to the burst tasks because it's kind of eh, it only gives 30 low alks per day. You need the explorer's ring four to get the high alks every day, so. I just tried to quickly bank the majority of these alkable items. Oh boy, here we go. Looks like it ended up being almost one mil GP worth of alks. Of course, not including the cost of the runes, which we had all the runes already so I mean it, it's a theoretical cost but either way we have this straight up cash now and for the very first time we now have 
a green cash stack on the group Iron Man. It's kind of funny because I just decided to set this pretty arbitrary random goal slash threshold for myself. Um, especially considering I do have a bunch of stuff in the bank, like all these dragon items and other things too. I could have just decided to alloc and have a 10 mil cash stack a while ago, but I do kind of like having these sort of hidden stacks of items as a sort of backup emergency fund, kind of like a little gift for future me if I'm ever in a pinch. But there we go, the green cash stack just looks so nice. So unfortunately we did not end up getting the serve task this video, but that's okay because I also haven't had enough downtime to actually get to the agility level anyways. And of course we're still getting Slayer XP and still progressing towards 93, which is going to unlock Thermi and the Occult Necklace, which is going to be a huge upgrade on the group Iron Man. I just realized that this video is probably going to be going up on New Year's Eve, at least if you're uh, in North America, it'll be New Year's, well it'll be New Year's morning. So I guess this will be the last video of the year and I'll be able to send you all off into 2022 and if you think about it it's kind of weird the way you pronounce 2022 it's like you're saying 2022 like 2020 as well and I think 2020 probably wasn't the best year for a lot of people so hopefully that's not like a sign that it's actually going to be like 2020. I think it's going to be a really good year. Don't forget to check out Spook Dog's videos, my duo teammate which you can find a link to in every video description. Last video of the year. Have a good New Year's. Be safe. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again in 2022.